Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video we're going to be doing practice problem 5.1. We are asked to find the closed loop gain VO divided by VO divided by VS. So what is that? That is what the question is saying. And secondly, we are asked to find IO. IO is indicated over here. So for this problem, I will not transform this op amp circuit into its equivalent. I will simply use our node analysis, which is quite easier, or which is quite easy rather. <clears throat> it is easier compared to, let's say, trying to find the equivalent circuit of this using our dependent sources and such things. So then let's let's proceed. We will start by finding um, the closed loop gain, VO divided by VS. So here's what you should know about op amps, which basically applies to just about any op amp. The voltage which you have at the input of one terminal is equal to the voltage at the other terminal. Now at this terminal, as you can see, there isn't anything in that path. Even if there were a resistor here, it wouldn't uh, stop this voltage from being the same at this particular terminal, right? So at this terminal, we have Vs, which means at this terminal, we have Vs as well. There isn't any current going into or out of the op amp that is given in the textbook, and that is basically how op amps work. And now, now that we have our Vs at this node or at this terminal, we can therefore do our nodal analysis to actually find a relationship between Vs and Vo. So let's do that. Doing nodal analysis at Vs, we're going to have Vs divided by 5k plus Vs subtract Vo divided by 40k is equal to 0. Right? So let me have this focus just for a bit. Come on. Okay, I think that's the best it can do. I don't know why. But we only have two terms in our nodal equation because there isn't any current associated with the this wire which is connected to the terminal and we only have that and that, right? So I chose them as going out and that is why both of them are positive. And so we can uh, multiply through by 40K Multiplying through by 40k, we're going to have 8vs plus vs subtract vo is equal to 0, right? And adding uh, these two, which we have here, so this is basically, uh, what's this? Okay, adding these two, sorry. This is 8vs and this is vs, so we're going to have 9vs. And taking this vo to the other side of the equal sign will make it positive. And so we are asked to find the closed loop gain, VO divided by VS. And then after doing this, you can basically see that VO divided by VS, divided by VS on both sides. You have that. And on this side, this will cancel out, which means VO divided by VS is equal to 9. And that is your answer for the closed loop gain, VO divided by VS. Moving on to now find our IO. Now, to find IO, we see that IO is uh, associated with this particular node, so that the, the node voltage at that node is VO, because we have VO indicated from that point to ground, which means this top node has the same value as the voltage which is across this particular resistor value, right? So now, let's, uh, let's do some nodal analysis at this, at this node here using uh, the value of Vs, which is given to us to calculate uh, the second part of the question. So we're now given Vs as, as 1. The question says Vs equals to 1, right? And we found that the, the closed loop uh, gain Vo divided by Vs is equal to 9, which means, so let's write that again, Vo divided by Vs is equal to 9. And since the question says one uh, Vs is equal to one, we're gonna have to say this is one. So which means Vo divided by one is equal to nine. 
or VO is equal to 9 volts. So we have the values of VS, we have the value of VO. We can now do nodal analysis at this VO node. Doing that, we're going to have VO subtract VS divided by 40K um, plus VO divided by 20K subtract IO because it's going into the node is equal to zero, right? Multiplying through by 40K, we're going to have VO subtract VS plus 2VO subtract 40K IO is equal to zero. Now, adding the common terms up, we're going to have VO plus that, which is 3VO. Then we're going to have negative VS. Then we're going to take uh, this 40K IO to the other side of the equal sign. It's going to become positive. And now we have the values of these two. We said VO was equal to 9. So 3 multiply by 9. Subtract uh, VS, which is 1. Subtract 1 is equal to 40K IO. And IO is therefore equal to 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. Subtract 1, 26, divided by 40K. Punching that into your calculator should give you... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is my calculator? Okay, so punching this into a calculator should give you a value of 650 microamperes, and that is your answer.